once next morning. Uh, I just uploaded a video, uh, like yesterday I shot a video of this part of my winnings from the Shooter's Mindset show. And the next day, very next morning, this is what shows up. And this is from Terran Tactical. This is the other part of what I won. I guess I should have waited to uh, upload the video and I could have edited this all in together. But that would have been too smart on my behalf. I don't make any claims of being super intelligent. Let's see what we've got. A couple of base plates here. I think that's what there is. I think it's all. Oh, no, there's our springs. Sweet. I thought they were including springs. All right, and that's from Terran Tactical. Uh, really, really good stuff, guys. Um, I've been using the Ariando uh, magazine extensions, and I use them for my M and P. Step over here real quick. I've been using these Ariando ones, and uh, they are polymer, whereas these Terran Tactical ones are built. Very nice, very nice units. These things actually, I, I, I really, I wish that the, the contest would have been for the M&P, but it was for the Glock. And, uh, so I wasn't going to push, you know, I want them for free. I wasn't going to push trying to get uh, the, the M&P ones. If they had the Glock ones in mind, that's fine. I understand. Uh, what I'll do is I'm going to run out and buy Glock to fit these. No. <laughs> I'm going to uh, move these to, I got a couple of guys that are very interested in these, as they should be. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around and I'm going to purchase a set of these Terran Tactical one tactical ones to go on my M and P. Uh, the Ariando ones are good. Uh, they come with you know, extended springs. Well, the ones I sell, that they, they, you can get it without it. But uh, the only way to do it is by you know adding a spring. Even if you are running a factory length magazine. You know, the, the only way to go is by going ahead and having extra magazine springs on hand and make sure they are uh, plus power magazine springs. Uh, so anyways, let's get back to uh, the winning here. Um, I'll roll this in here in a second, a close-up of these. They are just really nice. I'll be honest, these are, that's one of the nicest products the nicest fit and finish on a product that I have seen in a long, long time. Uh, man, they feel great. I don't know about you all, but the way that I am is that I, I love the feel and the texture of different metals, uh, especially whenever something's been machined, it's built, it's been machined nicely. I appreciate that. So we'll uh, roll in shot of this in close up real quick and then we'll move on. These are the Terran Tactical Glock base pads. I just can't say enough about how nice they are. Uh, very, very slick machining. Whoever they've got hired in doing their machine work, they're spot on. It's got this dowel keep it in place. And you've got a set screw there. That makes them easy on, easy off. If anyone's ever tried to pull the base plate off of a uh, factory Glock magazine, without even with the tool, it's, it's a terrible undertaking. These are set up to where once you get the factory base plate off, you take this alignment pin here, you, you loosen this screw, let that pin drop down, 
and then this will just slide right onto your base plate. Um, whereas you've got like these uh, Ari Ari Dun Ari Dundo. <laughs> I can't even say it, but I run them. I run those base pads uh, on my M and P, and they are plastic. They they slide on and they clip in, but they don't have the positive retainment like these do. That's one of the things I really am looking forward to getting on my M and P is a set of these because once you slide that pin up and lock that set screw down, these aren't going anywhere. So it's good stuff. Got the Terran Tactical logo. Comes with springs. And I'll hold this up here so you guys can. Read the information. All right. 